This concept, although seemingly esoteric, is rooted in our deepest spiritual beliefs and has been the subject of countless tales and stories throughout history. In our universe, time is bestowed upon us by the infinite and timeless force known as the Creator. This Creator has the power to manipulate time in various ways, resulting in the existence of alternate realities or timelines. When we speak of the human soul, we are referring to the spiritual part of our being that transcends the physical body. The soul, as an ethereal energy, is believed to be eternal and to possess the ability to explore and experience all dimensions of existence, including alternate timelines. In certain spiritual practices such as meditation or channeling, one can communicate with the spiritual realm and ask for guidance or information about the future. This spiritual connection can help the individual understand that their soul may possess the capacity to travel between different timelines. When the soul travels to a different timeline, it may do so for various reasons. It could be to learn a particular lesson, grow and evolve, or perhaps to assist in the greater cosmic quest of the soul's growth and unity. The concept of the human soul traveling to alternate timelines is a fascinating and potentially powerful one. It challenges us to look beyond the material world and to explore the infinite possibilities that exist within our spiritual realm. Today, there is overwhelming evidence to show that we live on multiple timelines in a parallel form. Meaning, unless one is paying particular attention, you may not even notice that your soul is somewhere else as it looks pretty much the same. This is where the ones who are destined to achieve a higher reality realize their potential to shift their soul into another avatar version of themselves on the thought-projected reality they wish to experience. Come, grow with us as I and those with like minds come together to do our part in the ascension of our earthly home, Earth. Let those of us who know we are of the chosen, the light workers, the nomad souls, who came here in this time to do the work of elevating the human consciousness, of all who are ready to transcend to our next level of evolution in the material realm. Most all who are on this earth at this time are the souls who have been here since they fell in thought from the last planet they inhabited, and their souls were not evolved enough to make the transition of that planet into a higher state. They separated themselves out unto earth, a lower, more dense plane of existence. The appointed hour has come. Earth as you know it will be no more. And those who learn authenticity and love in the form of knowledge and wisdom find the will of the body and will be able to make the ascension with this earth into a whole new reality one's mind cannot now perceive. Yes, knowledge, the light of the body, when tuned to the vibrations and frequencies of authenticity and love, are parts of the trinity which form the soul. The other ether is your first existence, a thought form, which together make up what was anciently known as the Ren ships of the soul. When these parts all work in unison, they produce the light body, the ghostly substance which is not touchable by the material eye, yet seen within its realm. This body housing the thought form you. Aware energy spirit is your thought body on a journey traveling via thought processes. As the captains of all ships are the ones who move it via thought processes, the knowledge, wisdom, and will they possess. No man may lay lawful claim unto thy body, as the body form was created by the Creator, Aradia, for the completion of each soul's journey. Likewise, any trickery or force involved in the possession of one's body is not a valid claim before creation. Therefore, the transgressors of this fact will find themselves separated unto an even lower state of existence. Some call this space hell, as in this darkness it too has its overlords. These are the souls who want not the light body, or the light of the body, but rather prefer the material suit. They prefer to make this material realm and its flesh their body of darkness, and because of this, they shall know nothing but servitude and anguish for eternity, or until they either make themselves a willing sacrifice unto the light they seek to possess, by turning their soul's thoughts inward towards the ways of its creator, opposite of the flesh and the darkness it holds, or by the benevolence of a higher life form, they deliver those with ears to hear and eyes to see. From the depths of their thoughts, there is only one abode of the Creator. The kingdom is man's creation. The abode of the Creator, Aradia. The thought is that which created life in material existence. The kingdom is that which created a corpse. One is dead, the other alive. The core, the CEOs and rulers of the darkness, have determined a life in their realm to be a dead one by definition. A person in the realm of fiction a subject to the jurisdiction thereof, citizen, prisoners to their penal codes, those souls who turn their life over to the darkness by the movement of their thought. 
are captives of their own unthinking mind, and thus owe their creation unto the core which governs them. But a Savior, a Messiah, would come and deliver the truth unto the captive minds of those ascending souls, up from out of the captivity of their thoughts. This much is true, and His name is the truth. For Aradia, the thought is the truth. You are the truth, as the truth is all. That is the evidence of this realm's Creator. The other realm is of the Creator's thought forms, you. All's fair in love, not war. This is a mental fall. No one pushed you here. It is for this reason that all is in balance, and the unbalanced within it will be balanced. By this decree, I, Apsaras II, speak the truth of the matter, that all is the creation of the Creator, and all thoughts of the Creator are the Creator's, and the mere fact of one thinking is the seal of the Creator. Therefore, from this divine thought, no divine authority can hold the soul's rise that makes ascendance unto the abode of Akka. Seek ye the pineal, and in its reach your whole body shall be full of light. Remember, thought is the cause of it all, and aradia means the thought. The thought was made flesh and dwelled amongst man. So what are you thinking about? Feed your mind. The time is now and you have no time to waste.